essentially just looks like milk, honestly. It's almond milk and there is matcha in there. Typically, I do it flipped so I have the water and the matcha in here first and then I will add the milk, but I didn't have a good device to heat the milk up in, so I did it reversed and I feel like that just looks like milk. Official hello guys, what is up? Good morning. Get you all set up here. Let's see if this is good. Oh, you know what I forgot? I've been adding a little bit of agave in here, just a natural sweetener. Not a lot, but just a little. Yeah. That's nice. I don't know about you guys, but the one thing I'm really, really missing during this time of quarantine is going to coffee shops. I have not had a coffee shop matcha. You know, I couldn't even tell you how long and I seriously miss it so much. So I've been trying to figure out the best way to make matcha at home. And I don't, I love oat milk for my matchas and I don't buy it all the time just because it's a bit expensive as well as where I grocery shop, they don't have it available there. So then I have to go to an additional store. And right now that you just, it just doesn't make any sense. So I've been using almond milk and that's not my favorite thing. I mean, it's better than using real dairy milk, but the agave helps, but it's just, it's not the same as plenty of matcha. It's not. So today I just wanted to film a work day in my life. I feel like it's been a little while since you guys have seen just what a day looks like for me in terms of work. So I already have my to-do list laid out and I have to edit a video. I would like to get it scheduled and stuff. And maybe I'll actually share with you guys how I edit my thumbnails because I've been meaning to do that. So I could definitely incorporate that within this vlog. I also have to watch over some footage that I shot last week and see what other clips I have to get. I honestly was not obsessed with the video that I shot, but I love the video idea. So I I just think I need to get more shots for it. I need to, I just, I, it needs more. It really does. So I want to watch over that video today, figure out what I can film to add more to it. And then tomorrow is going to be a filming day. So the first thing I really need to do, I need to finish editing the YouTube video that I would like to get scheduled today. And I'm guessing I already did the first cut through, but I think it's still going to take me maybe like two, three hours. Just to get to the point where I like it. I'm almost done with this YouTube video. And if I'm thinking about this right, this is going to be the vlog that is uploaded after my video of me getting Final Cut for the first time. And it's so funny, it's so weird to me because I am not used to like filming all my videos in advance or filming this far in advance. And even this video, I don't think it's supposed to go live for like three weeks. And that's so, so weird to me, but I have to do it for the move and I'm okay with it. But that video, I struggled so, so much with Final Cut and it was just hilarious hilarious honestly watching it back was so so funny but this is now I think the fourth or fifth video that I've edited on Final Cut and I'm really starting to get used to it I like that I can incorporate way more overlays than iMovie like iMovie you could only have one overlay you could have the main video and then one thing on top of it within Final Cut that's not a thing and it's so 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 great I honestly I love it probably the most for that aspect also I can like the things that I designed in Canva some of them I can now design within Final Cut and I'm gonna like do like a full video on what I've learned my thoughts but I just want to share that with you guys but I just have to do one quick run through and see if like the color correction and stuff is good within this because I did do color correction but I'm afraid like maybe one of the clips didn't select properly and it got messed up so I just need to do a quick run through of this video and then we'll export it and I want to share with you guys how I create my thumbnails Drag and drop, get this video uploaded. Let's take my matcha cup. I'm off Mercedes CLA. Is this the one you think I'm going to like? Yeah. You'll be like, ooh, pretty. That's what you're gonna look back at me in a few minutes and do. Ooh, that's nice. Oh my God, I didn't realize I was on camera. <laughs> now you're gonna start acting different. This one's nice. <laughs> no, but I like the 
of Audi too. Okay. I don't know why, I just don't like BMW's look as much. Which probably doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's all black seats too. What? <laughs> You're something. It's gonna be really hot in Birmingham. So you really do want a C300. I like Or the them. Audi. I don't know, I've never driven them, but I like that Audi. I like the look. Who's Ben Andrews? Who's Leah Volantis? Oh my God! Can I help you? I don't. I just get a lot of emails in a day, and I hate it. I hate emails. But I got asked to be inside Business Insider again. What? I have to share how I edit my YouTube thumbnails. I was gonna grab them. Okay, let's change up the scenery a little bit. I need to come up with new angles. I kind of can't wait for a new office just so I get new angles. To edit my YouTube thumbnails, I use two apps on my phone and then I use Canva on my computer. But the first app I use is Facetune. And I do one very specific thing in here. You guys ask me all the times how I get such a blurred background to my thumbnails and it's because of what I do within Facetune. So let me start my screen recording for you guys. So you guys can see exactly what I do. This is the original photo right here and I'm gonna scroll the whole way over and click on defocus. And what this does, it adds a blurry background and it really kind of dramatizes it. I do have some settings within my camera uh, that help to blur the background a little bit, but I want it pretty dramatic. Like I want me to pop in my thumbnail. So I'm gonna click on auto. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna like roughly kind of guess what you want in focus, what you don't want in focus. And one of the things I already noticed right here is that the chair that I have right here is partially in focus. So I'm actually just gonna kind of color over that and blur it. Um, but I'm gonna go around the whole image and just kind of tight line this, especially around me, because like I said, I want it to be pretty dramatic and not natural in terms of a blur. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on the eraser tool and I have to go in because sometimes along the edges, they try to do a little bit of a fade into the part that's not in focus and I don't want the fade. Like I said, I want it to be pretty dramatic. So I'm just gonna go around and do that. I feel like I have this so close to my face, I probably look ridiculous. Now that I've got the blur, the way, like I have what I want selected, selected, blurred compared to in focus. I'm gonna drop this down a little bit. Let's do it to like 60 some. I do want it still really dramatic and I'm just gonna click the check mark at the bottom right. Possibly, there it is, okay. And then we are going to save this to my phone and I'm going to import this into Lightroom. Now, if you did not know, a couple of months ago, I came out with presets for YouTube thumbnails. Now, a lot of people have heard of Lightroom presets in terms of Instagram photos and I myself have my own Instagram photo Lightroom presets. I feel like that sounds weird, but I do have my own. So if you guys wanna check those out, I will include them in the description bar down below. But one thing I came out with is presets for YouTube thumbnails. And the reason that they're different from Instagram photos is because on Instagram, you can have photos that are a bit more over edited compared to YouTube. What really performs best is very natural looking photos. So, Fancy's coming in here. Hi. Hi, little girl. How's your day going? Hi. I love you, you good girl. Okay, I think I've got my screen recording going. I do, okay, cool. So I've got the photo right here and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push the whole way over to the right. I'm gonna click on presets. I'm gonna scroll the whole way down because I have them sorted. So the ones that's like totally not center, the ones that are for Instagram don't actually start with YouTube, you know? So these down here are my presets. I've got bold, I've got cool, cooler, that really makes a difference on different skin tones. So when I was actually developing these presets, I tried a bunch of different skin tones. I had you guys send in some thumbnails that I could edit and use these presets on to make sure it works. And I really liked cool and cooler on different skin tones. So I wanted to have both of them. We've got natural and then warmer. Now my go-to one 
is natural. It's my favorite, but it depends also on the photo. If for some reason the lighting is a little bit cooler or not the lighting, the tones are a little bit cooler, I will go with a warm preset to warm it up and it just like makes it an easy switch. Or if it's too warm, I'll go with cool. So I'm gonna go with natural. That's my go-to, my favorite. And I'm just gonna go in and make some minor tweaks to this photo to get it the way I like it. But this is really my base, my starting point. And sometimes I will just click on a preset and I like it and that's it. Other times I'll have to do some modifications so for like this photo for some reason my skin tone and everything just like really blends in and I need to pop out a little bit more So I'm gonna change some of the colors and stuff Okay, now I think I have the thumbnail where I like it. Honestly, the only things I changed, I increased the, not exposure, I increased the saturation of the oranges. I also increased the shadows a little bit or I brightened up the shadows a little bit and that's really all I did. So this is the before and that is the after, and that's with really minor changes to the presets that I already have. So if you guys want to get access to those presets to make editing your thumbnails a little bit easier, I will include them in the description bar down below, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this to my phone, I'm gonna airdrop it to my computer, add some text, and I'll share the final product with you guys. Whoa, the colors look really, really crazy. I swear it's not that red in person, but I've got a little template here that I use for my thumbnails, and I just have some of the recent ones that I have done right here and it's a good way for me to just make sure that they all look good together and cohesive even though these two videos won't end up being side by side but it's still just a good to take a look at them and see if they all match and stuff but yeah basically what I do this one's a little bit more advanced I feel like this is a really basic one that I have done recently but I take my photo that I edited with Facetune and then Lightroom and then I will just add this text sometimes I'll have a black color or I'll add an extra color behind the black little shadowing here for this one very very simple ah <laughs> and then I have the screen capture here and then I just searched for arrow over here on the left hand side and I created this thumbnail and I think I like it I don't know I had some I couldn't decide if I wanted this up high or if I really wanted the arrow or how I wanted it but I think I'm happy with it so I'm just gonna go up here click on to we're gonna download this and then I already have everything else done for this YouTube video just saw that pop up. So I've got the title already figured out. I've got the description added. I've got my playlist and screen cards, all of it. So I just went way too far. Upload thumbnail. Okay, it should be this one. Perfect, open. So now the last thing I have to do is actually just schedule this video to go live, which is great because then I can check that off my to-do list. So let's actually officially schedule it. Visibility schedule. This one's going live on the 28th. 11 a.m. Done. Save. Okay, now I'm going to go to my content calendar and make sure that I check that all off. And that is the 28th, and it is scheduled. I've <laughs> got all my content for April scheduled, which feels so weird because it is only April 20th today. Schedule next week's video. Done. Film vlog. Currently doing it, so I'm going to crush that off. Okay, so the last thing I really have on my to-do list today is prep for my filming day tomorrow. So I have to go over the YouTube video that I already shot that I told you guys about and figure out what parts I like, what parts I want to keep, where I can film better content. So like sit-down scenes as well as then B-roll scenes because I know I need to get a lot of B-roll scenes and that video I think I'm having trouble with it because it's talking about how to vlog and I kind of want to make it a vlog but I also think it's good if I incorporate vlog within my sit down video and kind of like mix in between the two so I gotta figure out what I want to do there I also need to drink some water okay cool I'm glad I got that video scheduled awesome bye bye you're making her mad we're going for a no, we'll be right back, and then we will later. Good shoes. Oh, I'm zoomed in on my face. Ah. This is gonna be so cold, isn't it? My butt warmer's turned up. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Could really use some sun. Hello? <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> what happened? Oh my gosh, amazing. So Alex and I, we have to run to UPS actually. We have to ship in my plates for my car because we're moving. So we're actually borrowing a family member's car right now. Now we're gonna retry this. No, you can't show that car. <laughs> There's this little like thing in the back that like has to be pulled. So like you can use the whole trunk. 
Yeah. That's up. There's this little thing that you have to like move back and that you can pull back and put into place for this to go down because it basically tells you this is the trunk that's for the roof. For the roof, yeah. So it doesn't so you can't like open it and hit shit with it. Yeah. I had put that forward when we went grocery shopping and yeah. I had to pull it back. God, you know what could get me awake? Some sun. Ooh, you see it. Peace, roof. Where is it going? My hair looks so nice. Wow. Uh, Living the dream. Someone this is else's what's car. called opulence. Maybe we're gonna get a convertible. Oh yeah? Jokes. No. Come on. It's cold. Yeah, just wait till the heat. But it's nice really out. Up. But it's cold. It's 46 outside. Welcome to Rochester where you drive around in 46 <laughs> degree weather with the top down because you've been inside for months. Eight months! <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> I haven't even done this yet, and it's on my to-do list. I need to get it done, but <sighs> Alex and I want to take, oh, I need to get my hair out. We want to take Fancy for a walk because it's so nice out, and I think I am going to do a little bit of work. Maybe I should move to the couch. I feel like I've been in my office all day. Maybe I'll do that, but I think I'm going to end the vlog here, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked this and just seeing a work day in my life, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I just hit my head. Make sure you give it a thumbs up because uh, it lets me know what videos you guys like as well as it supports my channel. Subscribe to my channel down below, and I will see you guys back here on Tuesday with another video and on Friday with a vlog. Bye, guys.